Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your November the 13th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. Looking forward to spending this time with you. Hope you're doing well. The title of the meditation, Balance Through Meditation. Emotional balance is one of the first results of meditation. And our experience bears this out. Basic text, chapter four, step 11. Life can be an emotional roller coaster. Before we found recovery, we could exit the ride by getting high. With that option off the table just for today, it's up to us to find ways to handle life's ups and downs, twists and turns. If I'm going to ride this roller coaster called life, a member shared, I want to be one of those screaming, giggling fools in the front car. They are truly in the moment. We learn the usefulness of living in today in early recovery. One old timer put it bluntly, if you've got one foot in the past and one in the future, you're going, you're pissing all over today, excuse me. Truly being in the moment is some next level stuff. And few of us have regular access to an actual roller coaster to practice that mindset. Fortunately, we have an 11 step that encourages us to give prayer and meditation a try. Practicing some form of meditation can help us to let our feelings come and go like waves on the beach. Practice pays off and it becomes easier to roll with the punches when we're a little less attached to our emotions. We learn to be fully feeling human beings and to be all right with that. More often than not, we have to we can be attentive to our emotional lives and not want to check out. One member shared, finding even a minute or two to slow down and breathe can drastically improve my emotional well-being. As we weave meditation into our recovery repertoire, emotional balance feels increasingly attainable. I will remind myself that the balance I have experienced in my recovery is a result of my emotional well-being. I will sustain this state of being by meditating today. I guess the question becomes whether or not you're going to meditate today. It's important to meditate. I think it's very helpful to meditate. Many of us talk about prayer and meditation, but not many of us are able to actually do it. It's something that can help us smooth out the rough edges of our day. Uh, the reading compares it much to being like being on a roller coaster and not being able to actually get off anytime we want. Mid-ride, you can't get off. But if you have prayer and meditation, you can actually take a break from anything that you're going through at any point in time during the day. And you'll be amazed. You will be amazed at the effect prayer and meditation has on your life. We no longer have to use drugs. We have other things that we can do, other things that we can use that are holistic, far more healthy, less dangerous. Prayer and meditation is one of them. Today, my hope for you is that you will take time for your 11th step today. Have a beautiful day on purpose.